Hi Wiz Kids and welcome back to Science with Sophie. I hope you're all doing really good. Today's first experiment is going to be a bit more of a challenge. Um, so all you're going to need is some form of postcard um, or any piece of paper that is this big and some scissors. So you also may need an adult if you're younger so that you don't cut yourselves um, and all that. So let's get on with it. So what we're going to be trying to do with this postcard is fit our entire body through it. Now you might be thinking, that's not going to happen, especially I'm a lot bigger than probably all of you. So how am I going to fit through it? But I am going to show you how. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half like this. And then you're going to get your scissors and from the folded side, you're going to cut about a centimetre through. You're going to stop just before the end. So it's all still attached like this. So just leave a tiny, tiny bit of gap. And then you're going to do the same on the other side without chopping your fingers off like I'm about to do. So you have two cuts like this. You are then going to unfold it. And on this folded edge, you're going to remove the, the two slits that you've just done um, and you're going to cut across this folded line here. The pressure of doing a straight line. So you'll have something like this, like it's a little window. Um, you're then going to refold it and then you're going to cut across, just like you did on these ones, all the way across, alternating which side you cut. So you see how I'll do it, so you'll understand it. Um, so let's start doing that now. So once you've got to this point where you've cut across going diagonally, you then need to unfold it and you should see then how you're going to be able to fit your entire body through that tiny piece of paper. If you can unfold it, there we are. So let's try it. Yeah, let's try this. So I had to tie my hair up because this is my fourth attempt and it kept getting stuck in my hair. So... We're gonna get over the head. One arm in, another one in, and then down the body. She's only gone and done it. There we are, and that is how you fit yourself through a postcard. <laughs> Let's go on to experiment two. So for experiment two, we are going to be sucking an egg into a bottle. So all you're gonna need for this experiment is a bottle with a lid that is smaller than an egg, a hard boiled egg that you can place on top of there and some boiling hot water. So let's get on with it. First things first, we need to peel the egg. I always get nervous trying to peel eggs. So the next step is to take your bottle and your boiling water. Once again, please get a parent to do this. And you're going to pour it into your bottle. Like so. And then just give it a bit of a swirl so it makes it nice and hot. And then you are going to pour out the hot water. And as soon as you pour it out, you're then going to quickly put the egg on top of the bottle. Watch the magic happen. So 
So the reason that the egg gets sucked into the bottle, which normally it wouldn't because the egg's too big, so unless you squish it in there, um, it's not gonna go into a bottle, is because the pressure from all the heat from the water is so much, and like I said before, when there's too much pressure in one place and not enough in another, they will try and balance out. So that's exactly the same here. So to try and balance out the pressure, the egg gets sucked in. So then air can also get sucked in to sort the pressure out in the bottle. So that is how that one works. So have fun cleaning your bottles if you've tried this because they've now got egg in them. Um, and I hope you have a good week and I shall see you really soon. Bye.